Welcome to Indian Oil Connect. City gas distribution is a key area in the energy portfolio of the nation right now. Today we have with us Executive Director City Gas Distribution Indian Oil, Mr. P K Mishra. Let us welcome him to Indian Oil Connect. Welcome, sir, to Thank Indian you. Oil Connect. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us, sir. Uh, CGD is a key element in the energy portfolio of the nation right now. So, what is Indian Oil's role in the CGD network expansion? See, uh, India's growth need lot of energy to fuel it, and while the ultimate fuels like hydrogen are a little uh, away so there has to be some transition fuel and gas is filling that government's agenda is to take it to 15 percent by 2030 uh, right now we are six percent plus 20 percent of the gas demand today comes from cgd across the country we have 26 ga's with us on a standalone basis and 49 GAs in total, uh, which we are doing, including our JVs. This total covers around 13% of the geographical area in the country and almost 21% of Indian population, Indian oil will be catering. Right now we are selling around 0.6 mm CMD and gas every day. So this is a big milestone for us and we hope that we will be taking it to close to 9 uh, uh, lakh CMD by this year. We are catering to a large area in the hinterland. That is where the Indian oil's importance comes. Uh, when we started the CGD business, we felt that we are going to serve an area which will probably not switch on to gas so soon. But to our surprise, pleasant surprise rather, that the area in Bihar, area in Rajasthan, in MP, they have joined onto the bandwagon in a big way and these are the areas which are actually contributing to our growth uh, right now we also have the pocket in tamil nadu and andhra pradesh from where the demand is actually uh, likely to come in in much bigger numbers we are increasing our industrial sales which is right now it is only 4% of our portfolio. 92% of that is coming from CNG. Only 4% is from industrial. Uh, we wish to take this 4% up to 15% at least. And that will uh, take place, I think, in a span of next two to three years time. Indian Oil is a much bigger company with a much bigger portfolio. Uh, even now, uh, fossil fuels, uh, MS, HSD, they 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 are they contribute a much bigger uh, uh, share in our uh, total revenue. But going forward, at least three years, uh, we will be noticed in terms of revenue. That's what I can say. And this is uh, not only Indian oil's growth; it will be India's growth. In fact. Sir, uh, you were mentioning about the infrastructure that's required for the CGD network. So, how are we planning our infrastructure development? Uh, we, we have uh, three elements to it. One is the pipeline, the steel pipeline. We are done with that. More than 2000 kilometers of steel pipeline has already been laid. Uh, we hardly have 200 or 300 kilometer odd pipeline now uh, to be laid, but most of the pipeline is laid. That was number one. Number two is uh, wherever we have trunk pipeline connectivity, we have installed city gator stations. That is the, uh, you can say the uh, inlet to the geographical area. We have completed it in all the GAs, uh, except for four. Wherever we don't have trunk pipeline connectivity, we have uh, started our business without waiting for the trunk pipeline connectivity and availability of gas through that. We have installed LNG hubs. Those are small regasification plants, which we have uh, installed in like Vijag, in Salem. We are doing it in Guntur. We will be doing it in uh, Jalgaon next year. The third infra uh, is uh, the CNG stations. Uh, when we started this business, we uh, made a philosophy that we already have retail outlets. 
so they, they are the ready uh, seats for uh, the gas dispensers so they are our major uh, infra 343 ROs we are already uh, selling gas as on date uh, next year it will exceed 400 so we have city gas stations we have a steel pipeline network uh, and then comes the PNG connections for which we have to lay uh, MDP pipelines. Right now we have already laid 7,500 kilometers of MDP pipes. Uh, that is a big number, uh, but we are yet to charge it. Uh, as soon as gas is available, we will charge those. Right now it is uh, less than 20% of that network is ready. You can very well imagine that if my 80% infrastructure, which is not yet commissioned, uh, once it gets commissioned, then uh, my uh, volume and growth will be much, much higher. So we are optimizing the costs part uh, through an innovative model. Uh, we are leveraging technology. We are trying to make it uh, as less manpower intensive as it can be. So that is another dimension of infra. Uh, which we are uh, trying to uh, make that whatever capex we have made, we have already made an uh, made a capex of almost three thousand crore rupees. Now we want to leverage this and we want to reduce our opex so that this business becomes uh, not only the revenue grows, I mean profitability also grows. That was sir. Uh, right now you explain how what are the different parts of the infrastructure that we require for the CGT network. For that, you need require state government help, the local government help. So, what is uh, what yes. do you think is the role played by them? You are you are very right. In fact, uh, unlike a trunk pipeline or a cross country pipeline, uh, the network is laid by the side of the road, and we have to go to state governments, to the municipal authorities, um, uh, for seeking permission. Most of the state governments are very, very, uh, uh, their approach is uh, encouraging. Uh, we get very good support from state government for permissions and uh, clearances. The states have uh, standardized the process of uh, giving permissions. Uh, the charges have been uh, rationalized. Uh, they help us in getting the uh, piece of land if it is uh, required. The other part is uh, sometimes we have to seek permissions from National uh, Highway Authority of India. Uh, there also we get very good support. Sir, um, right now Indian Oil has launched this transformative journey of Sprint. Yes. So what is CGD, uh, Team CGD has to do with Sprint? I have two goals in a sprint. Uh, one is my team will be uh, driving the business. By this end, year end, we will be a bit positive. And by 2028, uh, we have a target of being PBT positive on individual geographical area basis. So these are the two main milestones that I am looking for in next three years. By 28, uh, our team is fully geared up to achieve this goal. And I'm sure that we will go beyond uh, these targets. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us in Indian Oil Connect and giving it so much insights on to, into CGD. Thank you. Man. Thank you. So viewers, that was on city gas distribution. And of course, you would have heard how city gas distribution is going to contribute to the transformative journey of Sprint of Indian Oil. Until we meet next time, thank you so much.